<laughs> Hi everybody, welcome, welcome, welcome to Jenny Life Special here with hypnotist and mentalist Peter Kingsley, right from the UK. How are you, Peter? I'm fine, thank you. Fine, very well. May I go over my journey? You know, I just realized I'm so used to doing the mic thing, and you already got yours, so I, my, my job That's is easy it. today. That's it. Yeah, you All right, well, tell me a little bit. Uh, you just got to Miami. I mean, you came from Texas, you drove a long time. Yeah, two days it took me to drive down from Texas, yeah. So I just wanted to see the countryside and people said. <laughs> and you came to Miami? Yeah, the that's it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They said the weather was better down here. It's so, good uh, weather, actually, so we're, we're good. Yeah, these but of days. It, was, it was a good journey, actually. I just enjoyed it. I was just chilling out. I was listening to some uh, radio stations from the UK and that. Yeah. So, you know, it was really good. It's, and it's amazing how the weather changes from different state to state. Of course. You know, but uh, then when I hit Miami and then I had to try and get around these loops and things and whatever, that was a bit exciting. We were talking about traffic in Miami yesterday, so yeah, very, very different from the UK, yeah, I'm guessing. Yeah, and they're saying things go this way and things go that way. Um, but it's neat though. Actually, yeah. coming here this evening, like I just thought, yeah, I'm just going that way and I'm either going to go that way and that's it. <laughs> so you so, go, it was easy. Yeah, so it's good. Yeah, so I'm... Uh, All right, so we've been, uh, we've been telling you guys about, you know, this day for a long time now. You have an event also, an LMNT. We've been there so many times to film. Saturday evening, if you guys want to check it out, it's a, com it's a comedy hypnotism show, right? So you're a comedian in a, a hypnotist? Hypnotist, yeah. Okay. Yeah. But I don't, do the, I don't do, like, the chicken stuff, you know. <laughs> this is really, really sort of... I mean, some of the stuff is... What's the chicken stuff? <laughs> well, you turn people into chickens. That's, oh, you, I, I would do that. <laughs> yeah, I know. If I had a dollar for every one that said to me, you're going to turn me into a chicken, I'd be a millionaire. Because that's all they think hypnotists do. Make people just do so, funny stuff or chicken stuff? Yeah, yeah. I mean, you, it's, but the stuff I do is, is uh, you know, I don't want to give too much away, but it, no. really, it really gives a creativity. And you'll see the Queen of England, she turns up. Oh God, yeah, that's we'll, we'll be the best side of it and check that yeah. out, definitely. Bueno, estamos con un hipnotista y eh, mentalista desde el UK, así que bienvenidos. Eh, hablando un poco, acaba de llegar a Miami, está haciendo el recorrido y bueno, se va a mudar a Miami con la posibilidad de empezar también a hacer un programa donde va a las casas de las personas, los hipnotiza y hace que hagan diferentes, eh, diferentes estilos de vida, digamos. So, you're in Miami, you're, you're moving to Miami? Yeah, I moved down uh, this week, actually. Yeah, a friend of mine actually, okay. uh, actually lived down here, he's from the UK. And we, we've been talking about two years. I was, I've been here four years now in Texas. And, uh, How is Texas good? It's, it's, it's hot. It's hot? It's, it's hot. hot. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, the, but their sort of mentality is different, actually. How's that? You have to explain things. Well, oh, okay. <laughs> what, what about here? You don't have to explain I, I, things? I've not been here long, long enough yet to, oh, to, to figure it out, but I've I, I got a feeling it might be a little bit easier. How, what about, how do they react to mentalists or hypnotism? Well, yeah, it's like, oh, the first thing they say, oh, you don't turn me into a chicken. Oh. That's what I'm going, I'm not going to, you know, it depends, you know, if it's the show or, or it's the therapy, because right. I, I do therapy as well, but I, I'm, that's just not my, my persona, you know. I, I, I want to help people, and I want to help people relax, and I want to help people enjoy themselves. Right. You know, and thank God, you know, this, uh, the, I've got the skin in the hypnosis side, plus the bit of comedy, but when you see the comedy mixed with it, there's, there's, on the show, there's like mm. three really powerful messages in there, okay. you know, that showing people that they can, what they can achieve through their creativity, really, that's the message. Like there's no limit. You, oh, the sky's the limit. oh, my goodness. Not even <laughs> people just don't realise, you know, they really don't realise what they can achieve, you know, and but they need to have a bit of an understanding how this thing works. Uh, we, were to, we were talking earlier on about it, and yeah. if, if you like, I can explain. Sure, sure, you, you go know. ahead. Let me, let me put it in real simple terms, okay? <laughs> simple, simple terms, this thing. <laughs> this thing, okay? This thing. Remember these three things. Thoughts. Pensamiento. Create feelings. Crear sentimientos. Create actions. Y crear acciones. That's eso it, es lo más okay? Thoughts, so feelings, actions. Okay. Sometimes we, haven't really, we can't really uh, control what comes in through our thoughts and our perception, but we can certainly control our feeling. Yeah, okay? definitely. So therefore then, if we master this feeling, then we master everything else. Hmm. Okay? I never thought so, of it like that. Exactly. So rather than waste your time thinking too much, concentrate on mastering the feeling, which means that well, this... Well, feels good, right? Yeah, exactly. And what happens is this thing stays calm and it allows you to make better judgments. Hmm. Right? Dice que lo que tienen que hacer, uno siempre piensa en pensar, pero dice que lo importante no es pensar, porque los pensamientos a veces no somos dueños de nuestros pensamientos. Tienes que enfocarte en lo que sientes. Eres dueño de, tu, de tus sentimientos. Entonces, si te enfocas en cómo te sientes, ya es, es, sos maestro, digamos, de tu mente. O sea, que siempre tienes que 
ir a lo que se siente bien, lo que se siente bien aquí, lo que te tiene en paz. That's actually a really good technique. Okay. For everything, for life, for everything. Well, actually, in the, in the second, then let's come to this thing. Okay. Okay. We've got. We sort of the, the brain is like got two sides of it: logic and subconscious. Sí, el subconsciente y la lógica, okay. la mente. You will never take over the subconscious. Logic, logic's got no chance. Nunca tenés poder de ser, de tener poder sobre tu subconsciente. No hay manera. Okay. No chance whatsoever. No. Okay. Think, think about it because the subconscious is driven by the feeling, the feelings. So it's not what we see; it's how we feel that it takes what we do. So sometimes we're in a relationship and we love the person, we see them, but we know that it, it, it's a feeling that keeps us there. Logic tells us we need to go, but the feeling is so powerful that we stay. Right. Uh -huh. Claro, la lógica te dice a dónde ir, pero el sentimiento por ahí es tan poderoso de que te quedas en un lugar. Okay. Okay. There's the other thing then. Every single human being in the entire world is... Todo el ser humano del mundo. Yeah, it doesn't matter what, whether they speak Spanish, Argentinian, whatever it is, whatever it doesn't matter, yeah? it's all the same. Todo lo mismo. We're driven by pleasure. Okay, uh, nos lleva el placer, dice. We're uh, driven by pleasure, okay. Yeah, what we see. <laughs> lo que vemos. What we smell. Lo que olemos. What we taste. Lo que probamos. What we touch. Y lo que tocamos. It's a signal. Es una señal. Yeah, <laughs> sometimes we know this, what's coming in, sometimes we don't. A veces sabemos lo que viene, a veces no. But all it does, it's, it's the, the subconscious is looking for pleasure. El subconsciente busca placer. Is okay. that bad? No. No. No, it's, it's a nice feeling, or a nice feeling, should okay. I say, isn't it? A nice feeling, say. Es sentimiento bueno. Yeah, it's always wanting to do that for you. Okay. So with the only three things we need to master is that feeling. Because you've only got one. I'm hungry now. No. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Solo tenemos uno, así que lo que hay que, hay que ser maestro de esto, aquí nomás. We've, okay. got, we've got a million labels. It's always, it's only, it's attached to that feeling. Claro, un millón de... Okay, yeah, we were talking about that earlier. So yeah. we all, yeah, wherever you feel good, that's what yeah, you go it, to. Absolutely, you can say confidence, self-esteem, uh, whatever, it's, it's, it's all the same. It's, 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 it's a label to a feeling. Claro, es algo que le damos a un sentimiento. Okay. Yeah, so forget about the label, concentrate on the feeling. Ah, I like that. <laughs> Dice, olvídate de llamarlo autoestima o llamarlo eh, bienestar o lo que sea. Concéntrate en lo que sientes. Todos tienen diferentes palabras para lo que se siente bien, pero en realidad tú sabes muy bien lo que está bien y lo que está mal porque lo sientes aquí. Qué bueno eso. No, es una, una buena técnica. Yeah. That's a good technique. Yeah. The second thing is, the only, thing, the only other one you've got is, a, is an uncomfortable negative feeling. That's your protection mechanism. That's the only yeah. way that your body can protect you from something is by creating a chemical reaction that's opposite to the most powerful one. As an example, fears and phobias. Shall we talk about them? La fobia, dice. Well, a fear is something you... This is something that you also do, because yeah. you... So you're almost hypnotizing it, isn't it? So, yeah, so I know, almost. No, but uh, what I want to do is... <laughs> here, put this back here. Okay. <laughs> um, something that um, you wanted to do to begin with, more than stage hypnotism, was a therapist. Uh, yeah. Be a therapist. Do I, you still do that, or do you do that? Yeah. yeah. I, I'll, tell you the back, and I'll tell you the background, because, you know, when we go through life, and we don't really know where we're going to end up, and sometimes right. we do, and we, and, and we now realize that we can use the experience from the past. Okay. Okay. Sometimes in life we don't know why we're good at something or we're not good at something until we study. I was a professional soccer player. Okay. okay. Él era profesional jugando eh, fútbol, sería, pero dice, la vida te lleva por diferentes eh, lugares, y él en realidad lo que siempre quiso hacer fue terapeuta, lo cual lo hace, solo de que a un lado también hace los shows de comedia y hipnotismo. Okay. Yeah, and there's a reason I'm going to tell you these stories, because it all fits into where we are today. Okay. And I was quite good, and I didn't realize why. Why was I good? I got the physical talent to be able to put the ball in the net. Okay? And the pleasure I got every single day of playing, I never seen the crowds. I never really seen all these crowds. All I knew, I was wanting to put that thing in the in the net. You see, right. uh, and I and I was quite good. And then my career sort of petered off. And then I went off and was a supervisor. So I managed people. Then I went off and did some business oh, stuff. So you were all over the place. Yeah, <laughs> but you know what I was looking for? What? Same amount of pleasure I was getting through playing soccer. It's the pleasure thing that was driving me. O sea, él terminó siendo. Eh... Dice que fue manager, fue de todo un poco, o sea, pero la idea fue justamente, pues, y se estaba buscando placer. Yo tenía placer con hacer el fútbol, terminé de hacer fútbol, dice, y ahora el hipnotismo me da placer. So, hypnotism gives you pleasure. Or, therapist, therapism makes, gives you pleasure. Gives you well, the process. The process of it, because you know the, you're yeah. helping somebody. Yeah, the okay. process does also, hypnosis gives you that, gives you that technique for you to develop it, either on your own or with somebody. Okay. Okay, so all we're doing is we're, we're using the natural techniques 
that allows your subconscious to constantly give you that feed on that nice pleasure because that's what it wants to do. So you, you open that up for everybody. Yeah. So they can do it. Because well, nobody really does that ever. No. You, know, you think, you think, you think, and that's all you do. Yeah, yeah, exactly right, you know. And, and if you think about it, you see, sometimes if you, you, know, you wake up in the morning in a different frame of mind or a different feeling. Okay. A so, different feeling. Absolutely. Yeah. Come back to it all the time. Uh -huh. <laughs> Come back to that all the time. A different feeling. So, say you wake up in the morning and you've not had a very good day or something. We don't know why sometimes, mm -hmm. and we're not feeling too good, and somebody, and, and somebody says something to you that's uncomfortable, mm -hmm. your protection mechanism is going to be high because it's, it's an, like an open, an open wound, if you like. So that would be the negative feeling that you're talking about? Yeah. Okay. So, él dice de que cuando nosotros nos despertamos, no nos despertamos con una mentalidad diferente, nos despertamos con un sentimiento diferente. Entonces también la manera de ver el día, si tú te despiertas sintiéndote medio así, es porque quizás o soñaste mal, o alguien te dijo algo que no te gustaba, entonces ahí inmediatamente sacas como un mecanismo eh, que empiezas a estar alertado y negativo en realidad, o sea, de que estás como en tu defensa, a qué, pueden, a qué te pueden decir o a qué puede pasar en el día. Entonces, qué interesante relacionar esto ¿no? con nosotros que siempre hablamos de energía con el tema de, no del hipnotismo. ¿no? You know, it's funny that you're, you're talking about this because we didn't even talk about this before the show. We talked about everything else except this. Um, but, you know, I always talk about, we always talk about energy, for example. Yeah. But to relate this, you know, to negative energy or positive energy, it has a lot to do because, yeah, you wake up in the morning and, yeah, either you put your mind into the day being better but you also, I mean, it, it comes together, you know, if you feel it first, it's going to be a lot easier for your mind to go along. And I think one of the things we spoke about, one of the things that our passions are to help people, and what we're saying, you're always going to get a good and a bad day. The, the world isn't utopia. In your mind it can be. Hopefully. Yeah. You know, so it's always going to be like this. So if we can help people through our skills and our experience and our understanding to get consistency is what we're trying to help yeah. so that they manage things better. Things from the past... Yeah, we can still use to, to create the future experiences. Right. Just because somebody passes away doesn't mean to say you can't develop nice experiences with, with, with them. Right. Yes, we're upset because our parents or somebody mm -hmm. may have passed away. Why should you lose that memory experience, those Positive nice memory, ones? Positive memory, yeah. Positive memory, because mm -hmm. that is more powerful and he wants it. And then you can create new ones from pleasurable things from the past. Mm -hmm. you, you, you see? Okay. So, and, and this is why this, this, this thing works. Let's talk about fear, is something that we anticipate. It works funciona de la manera muy simple. Dice, cada uno de nosotros tenemos algo que nos gusta. Nuestro cuerpo es, se maneja por placeres. Así como dijo, ¿no? Lo que vemos, lo que olemos, lo que comemos, eh, lo que sentimos. O sea, de que lo importante es siempre mantener eh, en mente esas cosas que nos da placer. Por ejemplo, dice, si alguien fallece en tu familia, claro de que es triste porque la persona no está más. Pero... Tu, tu cuerpo quiere mantener esos buenos momentos con esa persona porque se siente bien, es algo que necesita. Entonces, por eso eh, va algo con la mente, ¿no? Claro, pero él lo enfoca más que todo en el sentimiento porque cree que es más fácil hacer que la gente se acuerde en lo que siente a el pensar, por ejemplo, en positivo todo el tiempo. Entonces, dice, nosotros a través de nuestros medios o a través de nuestros talentos hacemos lo posible con diferentes técnicas para que la gente busque y encuentre su constancia en la vida para siempre estar positivo y siempre estar mejor y siempre estar en ese lugar de, de mariposas, digamos, en ese lugar presentero. Okay. Okay. You so got that? That, that, was, that, was, that was the fear, okay? So, the fears are something we anticipate. The a fear is something we, we, we it's a, a feeling that we don't want. Okay. Remember, a feeling that we don't want. A phobia is something that's been created. El fobia es algo que se crea. El miedo es algo que es un sentimiento que no queremos. It's a defense. It's a, it's a defense feeling. Okay. All right. So it gives you an example. I worked with. Uh, I was working abroad, and a young lady came to me after one of the shows and says, "Peter, can you, can you help me with my fear of snakes?" And there's an example. Okay. She says it's crazy. She says I wanted to go to a meeting yesterday, and I was walking down the road, and I was about to go to the bar, exactly. and I had a horrible feeling. Okay. Right. And couldn't understand. Okay. And uh, she says, I heard this sound. Hmm. Okay, then she told me a bit more of the story. And I'm thinking, ah, I'm in a hot country. There's leaves on the floor blowing right, around. So, okay. You see? A little bit of imagination or something. Well, this thing isn't going to hang around to see if it's, if it's a leaf being blown along the ground yeah. shh, or it's a snake. This has got to react. Right. So it, the way it reacted was to re bring up that feeling that had been created when she was five. <laughs> yeah. When she was five, all this makes sense now. At yeah. Five years of age, she was with a mom. When we're with parents or anybody as a child, we want love. 
Right. We want feeling. Load it into me. Chocolates, ice cream, whatever it is. It's exactly, <laughs> is it? Hugs and hugs. Yeah, give loads of hugs, guys. <laughs> and girls. It's, it's good for you. Uh, you know, so, so at that age, now we're in a forest. Nature, it's beautiful, isn't it? Yeah. yeah, the fresh air, the green grass, the colours, the flowers, the smells. So now these things open up. Give me, give me as much as you can. Right. Because all it's doing is it's bombarding that nice feeling because these things looking for it. Make sense? O sea, que la mente busca las cosas que en realidad ya están grabados en nuestro subconsciente, que son esos sentimientos que hemos tenido en el pasado. Estaba contando rápidamente una fobia, una chica que a los cinco años tuvo un problema con las, las eh, víboras y le pidió a él que le haga una, una hipnosis, una terapia, para que le saque esa fobia del miedo a las víboras y se estaba caminando en la calle. Había viento, había hojas, entonces ella pensó, en un lugar caliente, pensó de que habían víboras. Y dice, claro, la, la fobia es algo que se queda como grabado, digamos, en el subconsciente, que viene de la nada, pero en realidad lo que te trae es el sentimiento, o sea, no es algo mental, es algo que es un sentimiento que sigue volviendo hasta que vos lo relacionás o haces una terapia y te lo puedes quitar de encima. Qué interesante. Estamos con sentimiento hoy, no con energía she's ni mente. She's good. Yeah. <laughs> and I actually try to get everything, and I think I'm doing good today. So. Yeah, we got, we got a bit more. <laughs> yeah, 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 we're going, right. we're going, we're going, we're going. We're going there. Right. So, so now, right. now, so now we know, and all of a sudden, while well, this thing is open, yeah. and you're getting some flowers, and a snake's head pops out. The only way your subconscious can help you defend against it is create a negative feeling. O sea, tu subconsciente right. sale y reacciona negativamente con esa fobia porque crea un, un sentimiento negativo. Chemical, yeah, you tense up and everything, right? reaction. Una, una reacción química, dice. Claro, te pones tenso, o sea, te da miedo. Yeah, that makes sense, totally. So that's the same with anything in life. Eso es lo mismo que todo en la vida. Yeah, okay. okay, so we got, yeah. So now, now we, and because this is open, it has to be quite powerful. It's the same when we have things happen in life, you know, when we're being brought up or we're abused or we're beaten up or, or as a child, somebody says you're, you're ugly or yeah, you can't do this. A it's a horrible feeling and this has to create the defense mechanism to keep you away from it. O sea, cuando eres pequeño y alguien te dice sos feo, sos gordo, sos eso, sos esto, cada palabra o cada reacción o si te abusan cuando niño o algo así, crea un sentimiento negativo en tu cuerpo y tu cuerpo como que lo graba. Entonces toda la vida cuando pasa algo relacionado vos te pones tenso, te pones de mal humor, te pones mal. That's awesome. Isn't it? I mean, not that it's good, but, but it's it, awesome. Does it, make, it all makes sense what we're talking yeah, about, definitely. yeah? So, so what happens then? And so it's not all in the mind. It's like, a, it's like our body has a record. It's like our subconscious and our body records that tense feeling. Yeah, and actually, it's, and that's why it's quite dangerous in life, where the wrong word said at the wrong time can be very dangerous. Yeah. But then the right word at the right time can be just as powerful. Okay. okay, so we have to be careful sometimes when we, when, when you know, uh, uh, teachers or people in authority or whatever it is, we have to be a little bit careful of what we say because we're actually creating a feeling that we can't see. All right? Claro, estamos so, creando, hay que tener cuidado con las palabras porque estás creando un sentimiento que no puedes ver. It makes sense, yeah. Confidence, what's confidence? ¿Qué es seguridad? A feeling. A feeling? Isn't it? What's, I thought you were going to say me. Yeah, like, no. yeah. <laughs> what's like, what's self-esteem? Yeah. A yeah, feeling. You feel, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 yeah if now you feel uncomfortable. If you're not confident, if you're not. So all these are labels to. So, okay. for, for an explanation of how we feel, that we have to have the explanations. Uh, but. ¿Qué es la seguridad? Dice. Es un sentimiento. Yeah. El que es tu tu autoestima. Un sentimiento y tiene razón porque si no estarías incómodo, ¿no? Yeah, totally. Yeah. So we, so the point of this is that whenever you try to be, if things seem so complicated, bring it back to the simplest thing. Is it's a feeling. It's a feeling that's being been manipulated, how, and how can I control this? First of all, I control and do my relaxation. You okay. relax like that? <laughs> you don't look, yeah. you don't okay. look to relax. <laughs> you know, say, lo controlo siendo <laughs> relajado. Digo, no se ve muy relajado. No se ve muy relajado. We practice this, by the way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do it to me in a minute. <laughs> oh, okay, so how do I do it? That's <laughs> it's a trigger. We, we haven't gone there yet, okay? Uh, but, okay, so you have, you have an ability uh, we've actually tried this before the show. He does have a wonderful gift, and he has an ability of making you relax just like that. Um, and well, tell us a little bit about that. I mean, let, let's skip a little bit the process, okay. so, so they're not like, okay, I got the whole feeling part. But okay. that was that was extremely interesting, though, and I love it because I think you guys can also put it into work. Uh, and it's not only yeah, it's not only think positive, do positive, but it's also be aware of how you feel yeah. and that uh, you're relaxed, you're not tense. You, once, you're, once you've mastered those skills. Life, is, life opens up to you, really, you know. If you don't do anything else in life, learn those, whether it's what you were saying or I was saying, you know. Sometimes we can do it ourselves. Sometimes you need to work with somebody. Mm -hmm. If you have to yeah. think sometimes to relax, it's harder. That's why you work with somebody. 
I think I think it's always better to work with somebody at the beginning, and then it's like you get the the whole grip of it, and you can yeah, do it by yourself. Yeah, and and it's the same in life, in business, or whatever we do, sports or whatever it is. You know, body language. It's great. El cuerpo también es muy. Lo, lo que tienen que, que, que entender no solamente es que siempre nosotros decimos piensen positivo, hagan positivo y todo eso, pero también estén conscientes de cómo su cuerpo está, si está relajado o si está tenso. Y dice si si aprenden eso la vida va a ser mucho mejor y en todos los sentidos, en los negocios, en el en, en el amor, en todo. I feel like always uh, also it's kind of like a perception that we have, you know, that when something is not going to go out the right way, like we kind of just Yeah, it's like a gut feeling, that's what they call it. Yeah, there you go, you're <laughs> getting it now, you see, there you got it. Lo llaman el sentimiento de, de, ¿cómo se dice? Del estómago, que uno siente cuando algo no va a pasar bien. Yeah. Hay que ser más consciente de eso. Ok, see? got it. Correct, yeah. And, and going back to what you said, uh, some of us, we were talking earlier on about talent. Everybody's got talent, of course uh -huh. they have. Everybody can learn a certain bit, if you like, but some people got a natural talent. Uh, and it's like, Thank we, you. We, yeah, which I sort of, you know, I sort of knew it, but I didn't want to say because I didn't want people to think I was arrogant. And no. it wasn't, it was like, you know, I, I, I knew for some reason, when I talk to people, Within a very short period of time, I've sort of got a solution in my head, but I'm not going to tell. I like to guide them. Yeah, you don't want to freak them out. No, <laughs> it's like, how do you know that? Yeah, Who you, are you? Why, yeah, how do you know that? That's it. Yeah, yeah. Hey, you read my mind. Yes. <laughs> Can you read minds? Yes. Oh, what am I doing right Come now? Come to the show. Oh man. <laughs> Come to the show. You'll see me read somebody's mind. Do you do you read my? Do you read somebody's mind only when you hypnotize them, or just? when you choose the person or do they have to be like easy accessible i don't know you can see you can but it it's the body language thing isn't it you can see you can sort of see if you ever looked at somebody you think i can i can understand why their mind's ticking over i know what they're thinking okay. so you're reading their mind through their body language yeah hypnosis is even better can you read my mind Yeah. Thinking something really simple. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah. I, I put him on the spot now, right? He says, "Puedes leer las mentes." He says, "Sí, tienes que venir al show." But uh, I think on Saturday is going to be super cool because there's going to be, you know, a, a bunch of people there, and I think there's nothing better than to have a big audience and have been able to pick and choose because not everybody is open or relaxed or you know accessible to be hypnotized or. Uh, and uh, it's like everything in life. I well, mean, that, you, just, you just said it exactly right. People, like you said earlier on, can everybody be hypnotized? It's not a case of you don't have to be a hypnotist to be hypnotized or manipulated, do you? Mm. you any pleasure can manipulate something. Without even knowing, sometimes you get manipulated. <laughs> so, you're an expert at it, aren't you? <laughs> so you're saying that hypnotism is manipulation? It, it's a... Uh, It's an emotional at manipulation. One point, I guess, yeah. yeah, I suppose it is. Yeah, but it, it isn't an ice cream. Isn't advertising. Okay. Isn't a, in True. a pair of shoes. True. Isn't relationships when people, you know, it's so. Dice, todo, todo es una manipulación. Dice el hipnotismo es una manipulación. La televisión, los comerciales, todo. Nosotros somos manipulados y ni siquiera tenemos que ser hipnotizados para ser manipulados. I love that. Yeah. We're manipulated every day, and we don't even have to go to a hypnotist to be manipulated. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you've got it down to a T. Yeah, yeah. Dangerous, dangerous minds, games. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so it, it makes, and it makes, you know, it's quite funny then because, especially when you do, I mean, I studied, I studied the whole thing, I, I got a diploma in hypnotherapy, it was a bit boring, yeah. which, but I had to go through. Yeah, it's a bit boring, it's a bit boring, it's a bit boring, it's a bit boring, it's a bit boring. What do they teach you? I mean, do they, do they teach you to oh. read it, body language, I'm sure. Well, do you know, I think what they do is this because it's an expensive. Okay, it's just, que que yeah, caro, you, sit, yeah, you sit there getting bored, really, because you're in these lecture rooms and they're telling you about this philosophy and that philosophy. I'm going, yeah, and the philosophy. So. And what, do philosophies work? Yes. Yes, okay. Absolutely. So. And the one that I, t I do business talks and I talk about the power of autonomy against motivation. Okay, habla de la motivación en los negocios en los negocios. Yeah, in business, it's very, it's, it's important to get that balance between you as a business person and you as a, as, as a person in life. Okay. You've got to get that balance. En el negocio tienes que tener el balance de la persona en un lugar de negocios, un ambiente de negocios y la persona en un lugar personal. Yeah. O sea, de que eso es algo que también hace, hace charlas para, eh, para motivar a las personas. And do you hypnotize everybody in the company? But you don't have to. Well, actually, what you, what you do is you you what you do is you do a talk, but you actually you change it. It's mo it's mental relaxation. It's just so the same thing. You relax them and you give them mo motivation, well, motivational speaking. Now, first of all, you give them the basic skills, <laughs> then you give them the philosophy to, to use. Okay. Yeah. That's, relaja, eso no los hipnotiza, los relaja. Yeah. So you could have a philosophy in sales. You could have a philosophy in team building. Okay. So once you understand it, you still gonna have the basic skills to implement it, isn't it?
you know, so how do I, you know, we've all been Pero, to these things. Tenés que entenderlo, tenés que entenderlo. Una vez que lo entiendes, la persona empieza a aplicar eh, eso en el negocio o en la vida personal. Let me give you an example, a, a prime one. <coughs> Weight management, my goodness, in the US, food. Bueno. Yeah, okay. food. El, el, sí, okay. Weight. Is that what it's called? Oh, weight management. Weight. Okay, I heard white. I'm like, oh, it's, what? it's an accent. You're British. Okay. You know, what can yeah. I do? <laughs> I'm like, I always have a hard time in, you know, understanding you guys, but I love your accent because I used to have it. I lost it. Now well, I'm in you'll America. See, you'll see, come to the show and you'll see some Americans being British. Oh, that, that'll be fun. I always, because you know, everybody That's, talks in different ways, so it'll yeah, be funny. Yeah, <laughs> you, you see an American trying to put on a British accent, it's, it's great fun. Uh, dice, el, el sábado uh, va a ser a, a personas para que hablen en, en el acento británico. Le digo así, porque a veces no le entiendo, habla de una, de, con un acento tan cerrado de que es un poco difícil. Yeah, okay. yeah. That's, a, that's, a, that's the show, because there's a lot of nice stuff in there, but when you really see it, you see the creativity, but it's done in a, in a better, fun way, I think. But let's go back to the point you should yeah. do it on about. Once people have learned the basic techniques, skills, that will be basic. They still need some time to come to somebody like myself who will probably go even a bit more quicker and deeper and powerful. Okay. okay. But you need to understand for, for some philosophies like the power of autonomy, the freedom. Let's talk about weight management, weight. O sea, no, voy a hablar un poco no de Estados Unidos y el tema de... <laughs> I, st I still heard white, by the way. El white. tema de Estados Unidos y el, el, el tema del sobrepeso, o sea, el, el, la manera de manejar el peso aquí. I'm, I'm sure you're going to have a lot of work when it comes to weight management here in the U.S. Well, this is the... And, uh, there's a, I work with teams of people who can come in, but this is the simplest thing, okay? And I, if I go on, stop me. But it's yeah. a philosophy. So now we've learned how to do the, the relaxation. I'll show you up this right. stuff, don't your lips are sealed. <laughs> 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 I can't go to the toilet, I didn't say them lips. <laughs> Sorry. Ay, Dios, qué That's a bit. No, me dice, okay. si hablo mucho, callame. Le digo, si no te preocupes, yo te cacheteo. Si me llegas al programa. You see how words, you see. Yeah, you've got to be correct with your words, isn't it? You know? You, right. right, so where were we? Go, go okay. back to weight okay. management, okay. right? Okay. But volvemos so, al tema del peso, el sobrepeso. Right, so, we've, so we've, we've learned the basics and all that stuff, right? So, and what I normally do when I work with somebody, either in a group or that, I teach them how to go into their mental sort of training areas. Trabaja okay. como en grupo y hace que la gente entre en un estado mental, okay. And that could be personal, sport, or whatever it is. Puede ser personal, celebrities, you said? Well, sport. Oh, personal. For sport. Eh, deporte. Personal. Yeah. Yeah, personal stuff or sports. Ah, uh, personal. Or, yeah, okay. well, that's stuff. Okay, right. personal or deportes. Yeah, Wait, yeah. so they have to go into their own mind into what they like in that subject? Oh, but not, yeah, no. Well, say you had a golfer come to me. Okay. It's a good one, it's a good one. Ask any golfer. Yeah, un golfista, por ejemplo. Okay, how long does it take to, to around the golf? Four hours? Okay. 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 How long does it take to strike a golf ball? Three seconds. Three seconds. Master that. Because bueno, if you master, it's no good. It doesn't matter how good you are if you can't master that three seconds to, to get si your. No ser so that way they'll finish it less than four hours, right? Well, yeah. <laughs> That's the well, point I'm guessing. You'll enjoy it. No, the point yeah. is, don't worry about four hours. Master three seconds. No te preocupes por las cuatro horas. Preocupate por los tres segundos. O sea, es el maestro de la filosofía. So that's where the that's where the the, the expensive uh, education went to the philosophy the section. Philosophy. So it works. Exactly. Dice que le enseñaron mucho de filosofía en la escuela, entonces dice que eso por lo menos sí lo aplica. So they tell you about philosophy. So if you've got constant pain, okay, yeah, and you say, please stop my pain. I'll say, I'll teach you how to I'll teach you how to manage it for thirty seconds. Yo te voy a enseñar a manejarlo por treinta segundos, Andrés. This goes. Oh, I can do that. Entonces la chica dice, ah, puedo hacer eso. Oh, so, you didn't even have to do anything. Yeah. Dice, ni siquiera tuvo que hacer nada porque todo el mundo va a decir, ah, sí, por 30 segundos puedo sacarlo. Yeah, sleep though. I'm for two hours. Dice, <laughs> well, it's a joke, guys. It's a joke. Yeah, it's a joke. Yeah, I don't do things like that. <laughs> He's going to see my face later on. Like, okay, so they tell you about philosophy. They tell you what else do they teach. I mean, is there like, I know not everybody could be a hypnotist. You could learn it, but you have to have a talent for it. What is it? Was it the talent of uh, the How feeling? You, is it just like a gift? I mean, I think, I think everybody's got gifts. I think everybody, yeah. and sometimes we just don't know. We, I mean, we, well, we, we sort of know. Right? Yeah. 
I mean, and I think sometimes we do know, but we're trying to, to tell people, show people what talent we have, mm -hmm. because they might mock us for it. And that's, that's the bit. A lot of people have got a lot of talent, and I know because of the therapy I've done and the shows I've done. Mm -hmm. I, 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 was, I was doing six shows a week, all different people from all different nationalities. And you see their creative mind. People coming on a stage, complete strangers, and there's four or five hundred people, and I go, yep, when you open your eyes, you're the hypnotist takeover. You're the professional. And it's off they go. <laughs> and you're not, I mean, all you did was hypnotize them. They're just, yeah. that's their subconscious working. So there's yeah. a lot that they if have hidden. It's like, now I've got no barriers. Now I don't care Turn what people on. think. I feel good. I'm going to have a crack at this. Awesome. You see <laughs> what I'm saying? Dice que él, él, él hacía seis shows por semana. Dice que lo más interesante es de que tenía personas de todos lados del mundo, de todas ciudades. Y lo más interesante es que todo el mundo tiene talentos. Pero yo le digo, tienes que tener un talento para ser hipnotista. Y me dice, todo el mundo tiene talentos, todo el mundo tiene dones, pero no todo el mundo lo explica ni lo dice por el miedo de qué que es lo que puede pensar la gente. Dice que él agarra gente, los pone en el, en el escenario y les dice, bueno, ahora tú eres el hipnotista. Y, en, y la persona va, pero la persona en realidad no es que él las, que la, los crea en, en que son otra persona. Son ellos trabajando en su subconsciente, pero sin barreras. O sea, de que en realidad sí, muchas personas viven como reprimidos, ¿no? Sin poder destacar eh, sus dones o sus capacidades. So, yeah, I, I agree with that. A lot of people yeah. live repressed, you know, not really afraid of what society might think. Absolutely. Yeah. And you take it into business and somebody says, okay, you've got to do a presentation next week to your colleagues. And then we start to get that horrible feeling. Then we start to sweat and we panic, it's a, isn't it? Whereas you can just, you just got on a stage in front of 500 people and you become the professional. It's only because the preparation of the mind being relaxed it, it's irrelevant again what we see. We don't, it's just irrelevant what we see. I'm feeling good, so I'm going to have a go. Right. Yeah? ¿Te sentís bien? Entonces, haces las cosas como corresponde. Todo está en el sentimiento. So, besides uh, therapy or hypnotism, anything that we can do or that you guys, that they can do to get that feeling before doing something? Yeah, I mean, again, yeah, the basic thing, what, I, what, what, they do, what they should do is, again, I think what we said, didn't we, about, you know, just simply every day, Every day, it takes one minute, one second to do mental relaxation. It's different from sleep. Let's explain. It's different from sleep, guys. Meditation? Yep. <laughs> Same thing, yeah. The, the meditation is similar. Un minuto al día, relajen su mente. Yeah. You know, so it's not sleep. And, and this is my explanation of the difference between sleep and mental relaxation. Okay? Mental relaxation is you drive your truck, you park it, take it out of gear, and you keep the engine ticking over. Okay. okay, makes sense. Which means that any time I can go. Yeah. That's what this is all about. Yeah, when you sleep, you sleep and you who knows when you're going to wake up, yeah. You turn the engine off, okay. yeah. So don't think, oh, he's going to put me to sleep. No, he's not. Dice, claro, él no duerme a la gente y esto. Yo le pregunté, algo que la gente puede hacer para sacarse ese miedo de ser uno, ¿no? Dice, sí, un minuto al día, relaje la mente. Dice, es casi como la meditación, en realidad, en vez de dormirse, cuando tú te duermes no tienes control sobre tu cuerpo. Cuando relajas la mente, estás, cuando quieras abrir los ojos y te vas. O sea, que con un minuto al día es más que suficiente. Estás en ese sentimiento de placer. And find that pleasure moment. Yeah, exactly. It's a trigger. And, and, and basically, once you understand it, what happens is then, whatever situation you're in, and you feel uncomfortable, you, although I'm looking at you, I, I actually, this is more powerful than me looking at you. I, can, I know how I feel in my stomach. So I know now that my mind is fairly calm, fairly relaxed, fairly comfortable, and I can make good decisions. How do you know when you're hungry if you got all that going on? Ah, <laughs> ah. Now, you're to, now you're back to weight management. <laughs> so weight management, that's something completely... I'll try and you keep it... You okay. hypnotize them and that's well, it. I've done Stop that. I've, yeah, I've done that. Oh, yeah, you'll, then you'll die. <laughs> no, I won't eat. <laughs> no, you just said it. Stop <laughs> eating. Yeah, you'll die. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> Okay, but and it's a sh actually, that's quite funny because <laughs> people come to the office and say, Peter, stop me from, from eating. I say, you'll die. And go. It's like, he's just said, I'll die. He's not he's supposed to help me. He's just yeah. told me. He said, But I mean, that's manageable. That's something that you can simple. do. Simple. It's a, a simple, a simple f philosophy now. It's very simple, the matter of the Food is fuel. La comida es un combustible. Yeah. When you get that hunger feeling, it's your brain, your subconscious saying, give me some gasoline, give me some fuel. Cuando te da hambre, tu subconsciente te está diciendo, necesito combustible, yeah. necesito comida. You have to answer it. Tienes que responderle. It doesn't matter if it's a peanut or whatever it is. No importa qué comida comas. Answer it. Because if you don't, 
and you leave it, or I'll, I'll wait for a half an hour or an hour. Si no lo haces en el momento y esperas yeah? media hora. Your body changes and it goes, I asked you half an hour ago. Tu cuerpo empieza a, a pensar y a pedir más y dice, bueno, yo te pedí comida hace media hora. Yeah? Next time you put food in, I'm going to hold on to some. I'll hold on to it. Ah, you see? Dice, la próxima vez que me des de comer, como ya no me diste de comer a tiempo antes cuando te pedí que tenía hambre, la próxima vez que me des de comer, voy a mantener un poco de comida de reserva. Yeah. So, our, it, it so our, mind ha, our, our stomach well, has a mind of its own. But it goes back to, yeah, it does actually, yeah. It goes back it's to like the... talking. Yeah, yeah, well, <laughs> <laughs> I, think, I think Lady's got a third brain, it's a talking brain. Maybe. Yeah. Who knows? So, it's so crazy, that, don't mind us. No se estamos locos, digo, o sea que tenemos una personita ahí adentro. That's why they say you got worms in your stomach when you eat so much. Yeah, but you have to, yeah, so you have to. You monster in your stomach. People say... There's a good one for you. People say, but I like eating pizza. That's Pero fine. That's fine. Está it's bien. pleasure. Es but when you learn to be able to recognize it for fuel, Pero te de que la es un let me give it, so I'll give the viewers a tip. Okay. Next time, this is a practice tip. Esto es una que que Don't do it in the restaurant because I think you're crazy. No, 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 when you're in the, in the house, in the kitchen, get a, a biscuit or anything. Uh, this is your weight management training tip. Okay, let's take a, a, a biscuit. You get hold of it, so you feel it. You see it. You bring it up. And just before you, you smell it. A little bite. Let it sit in your taste buds around here. So you And you automatically want to swallow, but don't. Is, you don't swallow it. You hold it and hold it and hold it. No la traes todavía. Tienes que mantenerla en la boca, like for a minute. Until you. Yeah. Hasta que es un yeah. minuto más yeah. o menos. Mantén yeah. la boca, aunque vas a querer tragarla, no la traes. Then swallow it. Después tragala. Yeah. Try that with a piece of chocolate. Intenta eso con chocolate. You'll get so much from that little bit because it allows your mind to take it all in. Good. Yeah? That you won't want the second piece. Awesome. <laughs> right, that's... I'm fine. There it's you go. awesome. Right? Tienes <laughs> razón. You but get... That's you training. Won't, yeah, it's like, ah, it's too much then if you eat more. That's your training. O sea, qué chévere, fantástico. Mira, y qué simple and so simple. Yeah. O sea, that's what I do. Trátalo con chocolate, dice, por ejemplo. Si tú agarras un pedacito chiquito de chocolate y tomas el tiempo para morderlo y lo mantienes en la boca por un minuto, tu cuerpo y tu mente y tu estómago ya va a tener suficiente del de sabor del chocolate. Entonces no va a querer comer más porque el sabor ya lo tiene, está sobrellenado de ese sabor. Entonces es fantástico porque es verdad, uno come, come caramelos o eso y es como que comes y comes y comes, pero en realidad no estás teniendo tiempo para saborearlo. Muy bueno, ¿eh? Para no comer exceso de chocolate. Pero eso va a ser chocolate, pero ¿qué pasa con because you're still hungry if you only well, eat a little piece. Now, now, we're coming to, now we're coming to that, you see. Right? So, so the third thing, that, what, the, what, the, the reason why people put weight on is the third reason. They use food as an emotional support. Am I right? Completely, absolutely. Yeah. Especially ice cream, so you know. So now, if we know how to relax, then we don't need that. Si te relajas y aprendes a relajarte, no necesitas ese We've soporte emocional. Technique. There's me, so there's me emotional stuff out the way. Now because I've been training, we could go out and have a meal, because when you go out to have a meal, you like the company, you like the conversation. Mm -hmm. The food is a little bit irrelevant, it's a reason. It's secondary. But, but we still may need to have it. But what happens is, because you've done your little bit of training, it automatically knows what you're doing. Pero como te entrenaste y ya no tenés esa necesidad de soporte emocional porque estás... Eh, digamos, entrenando tu mente a, a, a eso, eh, podés ir a comer y ya podés disfrutar la cena, no estás enfocado solo en comer, el comer ya pasa como algo secundario, es como el combustible que le das a, el, el combustible que le das a tu cuerpo cuando lo necesita y los sabores y el placer de hacerlo, pero lo suficiente posible. So, so, so like, we're well. concentrating, I mean, we're focusing our, on our feelings, we're focusing on the, the flavor of something so we don't have extra of it. Yep. And that's it? Yeah. Because the emotional side, now you've got you've got control by doing your daily. No, claro, si meditas todos los días, dice por lo menos un minutito ya tienes control de tu emoción. Entonces no tenés por qué agarrar la comida. So whenever you're hungry and you're about to just munch off on something because you're depressed, go meditate. I know it's boring, but do it anyway. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah you know. Cuando estén deprimidos, igual vayan a meditar en vez de comer. 
Does it make sense? It all makes sense. Absolutely. Yeah? It does. So emotions out of the way, there we can enjoy. And the body, what happens is with the body then, it starts to, to get the balance between, I know that when I ask for some food or fuel, that you're going to give it to me, so I'm going to burn more off. And you're not dependable on food. A lot of people are dependable on food yeah. like, all the time. You asked me the question, can I, can I stop somebody like that to, to give something up? Yes. But I can also do it the other way. You know, because why is it there in the first place? What's created that, that reason to want to use it? So there's, we have to find out why am I going to this, why am I going to drugs, why am I going to drink, why am I going to food, why am I... Primero que todo, encontrar el por qué uno está teniendo adicción a comida o a droga o alcohol y todo eso. Cuando encontrás el por qué lo puedes arreglar. Yeah, absolutely. Because I want, because that nice feeling, I've got a horrible feeling, I don't like this come from somewhere, which I need to find out. Yeah, and you substitute it with something that gives you pleasure. And we're always playing with those two feelings, aren't we? So, so, it's, so if we move all of that stuff, if we just learn how to do the relaxation, or, you know, we call it relaxation, every single day we we're bombarded. It's better, I think, calling it relaxation. A lot oh, of people hear meditation and it's like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's a, yeah, yeah, exactly. And, and it can be actually a little different. Because I, I guess when you meditate, you can purposely go off somewhere or try to communicate or try to relax too much but I guess relaxation is more just like clear your mind and not yeah. think about anything. Uh, well I, th I think people say what's the difference between meditation and hypnosis and this and that. Well the thing is what we do or what I do or people in my profession is we try to come up with a solution. You know, we try to, and we talk about outside of hypnosis. Mm -hmm. uh, like as an example I had a girl come to me who was taking an exam. Ask to, and listen to the and ask them the question. This is a simple question. I said, "Well, what's an exam for?" Uh, yeah? It means that I've got to answer 100 questions in an hour. No, it's not. Wrong. No, 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 it's an exam. It's your ability to release information. Yeah. How do you do that? By being relaxed. How should we do that? I asked her what her favorite color was. Blue. Oh, okay. What blue? Mm, right. So, what we did then, we decided. Yeah. I'm giving my secrets away there, but it doesn't matter. On the hip, <laughs> on the hypnosis, we we got her to because she could do that easily with the guidance that we linked the the color blue with that nice feeling. Then you can rehearse going into an exam because this doesn't care whether you're physically doing something or mentally doing something. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Right. It you could. It. Yeah. You could sit here and go to Australia on the Great Barrier Reef. Let me go, hold on. Let's go, let's go. <laughs> 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 Dice, vos podés, no importa, tu mente cree y sabe, piensa que está haciendo lo que está haciendo, así lo estés pesando. Entonces, así lo estés imaginándote en el momento. Dice, dice podrías ir a Australia ahora mismo. Le digo, bueno, dale, vamos. <risa> Se puso ahí a volar. Pero dice que a la chica le dijo, bueno, usa el color azul para relajarte y ahora, ahora que estás en ese estado relajado, pensá que vas a ir al examen y estás tomando el examen. Entonces puedes tomar el examen relajado. Y es verdad porque cuando, cuando uno está nervioso, especialmente en exámenes, muchas veces te, te trancas en sacar las respuestas como corresponde. You know, it's true because when you're nervous, you usually don't make a good uh, judgment calls, especially so, in exams. You know, you exactly. forget, you block out. So that is an exam. But as an example is, um, yes, if you physically went to Australia, you, you'd, you'd bombard that experience quicker. Be better, right? I think. Yeah, absolutely. But you don't have to. <laughs> so therefore, don't give the excuse just because you can't. You can't feel it. Dice, claro, no tengan excusas, sí. sino, podrían ir físicamente a Australia, sí. dice, pero no significa que no pueden ir. Sí. Pueden ir con la mente. Oh, I'd love to have a new pair of shoes, I'll think about it. Mm. Dice, me encantaría tener, me encantaría tener un par de zapatos nuevos, dice, bueno, pensalo, entonces tener que hacer en la mente. ¿Sí? Eso ya estaríamos todos locos. We'd be all crazy if that happened. Could you imagine everybody in the street? They'll be naked and be like, oh, I'm just thinking about wearing clothes and I feel so good. <laughs> oh, we did, we did, we did back before in the in the Stone Age, didn't we? We didn't have too much. True, fun. yeah, huh? it's true, true. So, imagine the people, no, se está pensando de que se está vistiendo y salen todos desnudos a la calle. Dice, ay no, pero yo estoy pensando que tengo ropa puesta y se siente bien, así que está todo bien. Then we'll all be locked up in the in the cuckoo center. Estaríamos todos en el manicomio, ¿no? Directamente. Yeah, yeah. All because of Peter Kingsley here. Todo por Peter Kingsley. That's the manipulation, you say, isn't it? Oh man. Okay, um, so Saturday, what time is it? I've totally lost track of time. Can I ask? Are we okay? We, we have like we have a couple of minutes ah. left, like 15. We can wrap it up. 10 minutes more, wrap Tim. it up in an hour. So, um, how do you pick and choose people? You talked about body language. Is this, I don't want you guys to be thinking when you go to a, a, his show. Uh, there's some, I don't want to show him any body language because he's going to go ahead and hypnotize me and he's going to do something. I mean. <laughs> Well, you can block yourself from being hypnotized, right? Well, if you think about what we've just spoken about, most people 
they want to come up and because they want to enjoy... The only thing that they don't is because they think they're going to look stupid, right? So first of all, this is not a stupid show. That's, that's the message I want to get out there. Okay. You know? so to, but most people would like, I wonder what it feels like. They're curious about it. So most people want to, what happens is some people just want to come up, some people need to be asked, some people need to be manipulated. Yeah? But hay algunas personas hay que manipularlas, otras pre le preguntas que suban al escenario porque digo, mucha gente se bloquea y no quiere ser hipnotizada, así que todo depende. And if you think about it, if you can come on to one of my shows and, and take part and I will look after you, if you can do I that... I don't trust you. <laughs> 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 venir el sábado y yo te cuido, yeah, yeah. Leo, no confío en él. 500 dólares. 500 dólares. Oh my God, you're great. Okay. <laughs> Now I'm really going to be afraid of everybody and their wallets and them. Don't take your wallets with you guys. No se ven la billetera cuando vas a lanzar. All right, so. But uh, if you think about it, you know, if they if they can do that, you can do anything. Claro, si puedes hacer eso, si puedes permitir, si puedes permitir de que alguien te hipnotice, puedes hacer cualquier cosa. So if you can allow yourself to be hypnotized, you can do anything. Well, you've got no. the ability. You don't have to be. You don't have to be. Yeah, you don't have to allow yourself to be hypnotized. What you're doing is allowing yourself to be mentally relaxed. O sea, en realidad no estás permitiendo que te hipnoticen. Estás permitiéndote a estar completamente relajado. Y luego tenés el poder cuando salís de eso, digamos, de si lo hiciste en el, el hipnosis, lo podés hacer en la vida real. And of course, that can happen both ways. I mean, you told me a story about a boxer, a girlfriend wanted, <laughs> she, she wanted her, her boyfriend to be a boxer, a professional boxer, and he didn't have much luck. So I guess it all depends on what you are being hypnotized to do, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can have some fun with it, yeah. Oh, definitely, yeah, definitely. Yeah. That's what we're hoping to do. Yeah. <laughs> Dice, bueno, puede ir a dos maneras. Hay una, una chica que quería que el novio sea... Un, un boxeador profesional y no le funcionó, al contrario, el tipo no servía para nada. O sea, de que a alguien le funcionará y a otros no, pero te puedes divertir mientras lo haces. ¿Has ever been hypnotized? Yes. How did that go? Fantastic. Yeah. I, What I, did you do? I was, uh, I was actually my very first show. It was a two hour show and I had to put the content together and I was writing it all down and I'm thinking, I can't remember this. And I asked my colleague, okay, and this is important. He hypnotized you? I says, well, I sort of <laughs> went as well. I sort of helped the okay. process. And I just said, when I, when I go to hypnosis, just read these out for me. Because when you're in hypnosis, precise and accurate information can be, be fed in. There's no distraction. And, I, and it did it. I, my first show, it just, I just let it go automatically. Mm -hmm. and, it, and it's the same with what we're t saying to the, to the viewers, you know, is that just allow it to happen. When I said to you, smile. It's uh, it's, <laughs> yeah, allow it to do it naturally. You've got to learn the skill. You've got to learn the philosophy. You may have the talent, but when you've got it, just let it happen. Puedes tener el don, puedes tener la habilidad, pero cuando lo tienes, tienes que dejar que fluya todo, en todo en la vida. Eso es en todos los aspectos. And with my hand and my heart, I know that every, I know, okay. I've been doing it 12 years, I know people are capable of doing more than I ever think possible. They really do. Dice, con la mano en el corazón, yo sé, con toda la gente que he conocido, que todo el mundo es capaz de hacer todo lo que quiera ponerse en la vida, todo lo pueden hacer, solo es miedo. Es yeah. fear, ¿verdad? Right? Yeah, yeah. So master, master those, those feelings. So, I mean, we were talking earlier on, I think what I would like to do, I don't know if I should say this, but maybe you know, we'll get some of your viewers, you know, ask them, you know, if you, could, if you would like to, if you want to hypnotize somebody, what would you get them to do? Y you know? Don't be mean. <laughs> no, don't be mean. Let, let's have some really good stuff. Esto you know? le pregunta a los televidentes y todos los que están viendo pueden ser en vivo o en repetición. Eh, envíen, un email, envíen un email o escriban en el video que si tuvieran la oportunidad de hipnotizar a un amigo o una amiga, ¿qué, qué, le haría, qué querrían que esa persona haga? Y vamos a empezar a quizás eh, empezar a hacer programas así para que él vaya y lo haga, porque sería chistoso. Be funny though. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so, I can see that happening, definitely. Yeah, and it could be some, it could be something a little bit sort of serious, but yeah. some funny stuff as well, you know. And uh, and we could, uh, and we because sometimes, as we say in England, the the proof is in the pudding. Okay. So you, you know, and we're, we're doing it because we want to support what we're saying, really. Mm -hmm. You know, that's it. We're not making anybody look silly. So if they want somebody to be a comedian, you can't tell a joke. Well, you seem more, you seem more relaxed now. Oh, I'm always relaxed. You know, there's something I told me about before the show. 
and we were doing a relaxation and he's like, don't be the girl on TV, be the girl that you are. And I'm like, but the girl on TV is me. I'm actually more open on TV than I am like in my, yeah, in, in my regular zone. life. This is my comfort zone. Feels good. I have like the microphone, I have it, and this is like, for me, I can do whatever, say whatever, and this is me. And then when I'm off the cameras, I'm more like, relax. Yeah, and then that's what people don't, that's what a lot of people should do, shouldn't they? <laughs> yeah, I think you're good. All right, we're going to go ahead and run the promo one more time and then we'll continue with Peter Kingsley here live in Miami TV. Bueno, vamos a mostrar la promoción una vez más para el sábado. If you guys want to go on Saturday, tickets are still on sale. LMNT, very nice place, and um, we'll be there. Y nos vemos en un ratito. Ah, el, 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 el lo. Ah, el logo. Oh, okay, I thought it was, okay, it was the logo. Okay, I thought we were running the promo again. Pensé que íbamos a mostrar el video otra vez. Lo mostramos otra vez, vamos. Yeah, We're gonna show the video again. Go yeah, great. Just because I think it's like. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so as you can see, I mean, there could be a room full of people, it doesn't matter. Uh, everybody, as long as you're susceptible and as long as you're open to it, uh, you're willing to get hypnotized. And I think it's an amazing experience. I think it's definitely intriguing, just because it does require a lot of relaxation. Uh, now, what about when somebody's really, really freaked out? Do you still get to, you, no, There's right? nothing to be freaked out about. I mean, you know, I mean, you feel, um, well, come on, I mean, you see the videos and it's like, okay, what am I gonna do? Or, you know, freaked out in a way that well, let, you're afraid of, not having control of your body. Well, the, th the whole point of what we're about to say is that show that we do, the two-hour show, there is nothing in there that's going to be freaky, you know? <laughs> freaky. Freaky. No. <laughs> it, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. It's just going to be pure humour, creativity. That's you know, we're all going to be... And it's out there for everybody to, to enjoy themselves. Do you tell them before you start, yeah. or everybody needs to be relaxed, and then no. you pick and choose? No? No, there's a, you'll see it. You'll see. I'm really intrigued. I'm, yeah. I'm really excited. There's a, <laughs> it's a, there's a couple of things that you... Because everybody's unique in the way they present <laughs> it. So. Yeah, yeah. But you'll like... You, everybody will like what they see. In fact, to a certain degree, there'll be a point in the show where it's just going to be, they're just going to go, you know, everything goes quiet. It's like, <laughs> uh, can I just, yeah. it's a transformation that's just like it's amazing to see. Yeah, yeah. you know. Um, kind of like the walk in the fire, no? Actually, when you, yeah. When you get out of it. Yeah, yeah, but better. yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, you don't burn yourself. <laughs> well, I, don't think, I don't think anybody. Burn, it's made in a way where you guys don't burn yourself. Okay, I think there's water running through or something. Oh, I don't okay. know. I've yeah, seen yeah. it with my own eyes. Yeah, yeah. Um, but it's como cuando caminan por el fuego, ¿no? Que no se que no te quemas. Esto en este caso no te quemas, pero sales con una mejor autoestima. So you would think of maybe even even the comedy show that you do on Saturday. It's not only for um, entertainment for the people, but also that they're going to get something great out of it. Well, I, what I do with everybody that takes part. I believe with, with something very, very special. Todo el mundo que participa el sábado siempre se va con algo muy, muy especial. Yeah. And then they get a they get a complimentary ticket to the next show too. 
Okay, y de ver, okay. también le va a dar un, un ticket complementario para el próximo show. Yeah. Okay. So keep an open mind, calm, enjoy it. He's there for enjoyment. He's not there to, to, to de you know, to be detrimental to anybody. Yeah. You know, and the more we can do this, the more we can get it going in, in Miami, the more we can do some business stuff and some personal yeah, yeah. stuff and, and really get the message around, you know? I, all the time that I've been in Miami, I've never heard of a hypnotist show. So I think this is really cool and really UK. unique. Yeah. What? All the way from the UK. All the way from the UK. <laughs> and you know what? Believe it or not, I think that UK people have a lot better um, humor than Americans. Yeah. Sorry, guys, but I, I mean, I, I do. I think you guys are funnier. It's just, I don't know, it's the way that you talk or not really that I'm, I'm laughing the way you talk. It's just, it's a humor. I mean, look at the TV, for God's sake. I mean, how many <laughs> how many uh, TV hosts, comedians do we have, talk show hosts that are, yeah, you know, yeah, British? So yeah, that yeah. speaks for itself. Yeah. yeah. Everybody's got a good sense of humor. You just got to sure. sort of work with it, really. Todo el mundo tiene un buen sentido humor, pero bueno, él lo va a hacer. Bueno, all right, guys, we're going to say uh, goodbye. And before we say goodbye, we're going to leave with a little relaxation. And uh, I don't know, he's going to put me in a coma or something. We'll see. <laughs> <laughs> if I show up on Friday, I'll let you know what's yeah, up. Yeah, with okay? a big smile. I'm still <laughs> there. <laughs> It's like, oh, something tickles, what? Because <laughs> he can actually make you feel that also, that you hypnotize somebody for, um, in a way that when you go like that or... It just or, tickles. It just tickles. Yeah, 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 yeah. Make you laugh. I'm yeah, laughing yeah. all the time. Bueno, nos despedimos, un beso muy grande. Nos quedamos eh, con una pequeña relajación donde él me va a intentar hipnotizar. Y el, a continuación nos veremos el sábado si es que llegamos, si es que no estoy en coma o algo así, ¿ok? Así que ahí nos vemos eh, y ya tenemos visitas. We already have visitors, you see? Ah, <laughs> I okay. want to go next, that's though. A, yeah, that's a, yeah, come on, come on, let me hear. So, uh, please invite everybody and then let's do it. So, Saturday, we'll see you guys on Saturday. Así que nos Thank vemos eh, el sábado. Let's go. See you back. Ok. That's it, just go where you went before. That's it, that very special place. The place where your mind and body is in that, see? Remember that tickling sensation right there in the hand there? That's it. Just go there and just let the mind be free. Relax and enjoy the journey. Simply relax. That's it. Deeper, deeper, deeper. That's it. The mind is clear, the body is clear. And just enjoy those few seconds, those few minutes where everything is absolutely beautiful. That's it. That's it. And that tickling sensation. That's it. Just relax. Let the mind go, let it be free. That's it. Deep into the caverns of the subconscious mind, where everything just simply feels right, simply feels good, simply feels fantastic. And just recalling that beautiful feeling that we did earlier on. That's it. That's it. Just being who you are, mentally, physically, and emotionally. That's it. The mind and body has become one. Deeper, 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 deeper. That's